hard time saying what you want to say, getting the words out in a way that you hope doesn't offend anyone or doesn't make waves or just being honest and wondering if that person can handle the truth. There's actually reasons that you feel this way and they go way back to your childhood. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome back to Stop, Look, and Listen with Samantha. I want you to think back to your childhood. And I want you to think about the communication styles that were around you. Did you feel comfortable to be honest, to be open? How were your conversations responded to? One, you may have got a lack of response or even silence. Someone may have not known the words to say or want to say the wrong thing or have trouble processing their own emotions that they just thought the better thing to do would be to not answer at all. You may have not gotten the encouragement that you feel you should have. So maybe if you were attempting to do something or trying or sharing those experiences with someone and they chose to either be silent or to downplay or to criticize what you were doing. Now let's take an example of anger or instability. Now someone that may have a bad temper may result to yelling and intimidation. And it's about their emotions of trying to shut down whatever it is within you, your conversation, your behavior that they don't like. What this does to the receiver is it gets them to shut down. So now they have a fear to communicate. They don't feel that they're in an open environment where their words would be received with love and kindness. So if you grew up in a house filled with anger, you may have developed a fear insecurity or resistance to voice your concerns which may carry on far past your childhood into your adult life. There could be instability. So sometimes you're met with love and kindness, sometimes you're met with anger, sometimes you're met with mocking and being made fun of and you really don't know what you're going to get. So that again causes a reaction of pulling back staying to yourself. I better not share this. I'm not sure which Jekyll and Hyde is going to come out today. Do you ever have somebody say to you, don't feel that way. That's silly. Just stop it. Just stop it. So a response like that to minimize the way that you feel or even mock or shame you. Now, if you're aware that you're receiving this type of communication breakdown or you're actually repeating that behavior that you learned in either a defensive way or a copycat way in your own household, there is a way that you can get through it. We all experience issues with communication, whether it's big or small. We all feel anxiety to have a difficult conversation. We all are afraid to hit buttons on someone that we don't want to hit. This is a common issue that a lot of people deal with, and that's what I'm going to focus on for the entire week. Stay tuned. You'll notice in all my videos, there's a red play button at the bottom of the screen. If you click that at any time and the bell for alerts, YouTube will let you know when I've created a new video. Three a week. Hope to see you soon.